brought to you by Lister Pros TV, streaming from Tempe, Arizona. And we're live in five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, Jordan here with Lister Pros TV and today we're on Real Estate Pros here in Tucson, Arizona and today we have a special guest, Jason Tadeo. He is the team leader of the Merid Meridian Group at Coldwell Banker. So, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Uh, we'll give you a couple minutes to introduce yourself. Sure. What interested you in getting into real estate mm -hmm. and uh, how long you've been in the business? Cool. So, yeah, yeah um, I've been in the business for three years now. Um, I started off actually right out of college. I graduated from the U of A. I was uh, offered the opportunity to work as the marketing uh, manager for CBRE Commercial Real Estate. Oh, really? Um, I worked at CBRE for about seven years, and um, and then I left there and I went into healthcare as the marketing director for a huge worldwide company. And then once I was there, I realized how much I missed real estate. You know, working in real estate, um, didn't really want to break into the commercial realm. So I, you know, I'm a kind of a people person, so I decided sure. to go into the residential realm instead. So on the commercial, so on the commercial side is that you're not working with people uh, no, one right. on one. Yeah, it's more. It's it's definitely. Um, all emotion is taken out of working in a commercial in a commercial it's kind like, of. What's the cap rate? On yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, like, all, it's all it's all it's all about cap it's rates and like you know all numbers and and basically you know traffic flow and stuff. You know, it, it's a whole other world. So um, I really enjoy working with people and you know on both sides of, of a transaction. You know, listing and and buying, um, either you know selling selling a house for somebody who obviously has an emotional tie to houses to their home. And, uh, and finding them something that's kind of in the next chapter of their life, something you know a little bit better and better suited for their needs. Right, right. And on the buy side, obviously, you know, finding somebody the perfect house, you know. Yeah. So you have a a decent amount of time. So right out of college, you were in real estate, mm -hmm. and then you left real estate. Yep. To go healthcare. Did yes. you Say three years in healthcare. No, or? another seven. Oh, seven years yes. in healthcare, and then. So and then you went, got the bug again, right? Yeah. So 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 my so my degree was in um, advertising, visual communications. Uh, so my whole focus, my whole career focus was working in the marketing and advertising field. So I worked for pleasure of working with amazing worldwide companies like CBRE, commercial real estate yeah, yeah. Um, for seven years. And then I worked for CBiz, benefits and insurance services for another seven years. And uh, with that, I think even though... So your roles in those were more like marketing? 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 Yeah. Gotcha. Exclusively marketing, yeah. So I, I basically managed um, all the marketing of... With, well, with C CBRE, it was marketing their properties as far as portfolio marketing, uh, business business identity um, opportunities, you know, things like that. And then with with uh, healthcare, it was you know marketing plans and 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 representing basically the the businesses that hired us to to broker their health insurance. So right. It was all marketing. Yeah. So and then today's world, do you do marketing stuff? One hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. So, so that that's the core passion. That it is. Yeah. The thing so, that you really enjoy but also right. you know the relationship part of real estate as 100%, well. A hundred percent yeah so the cool thing about our about our team is is that um, there are three managing partners as uh, as you know um, there's Brian Carey myself and Tanner Herbert uh -huh. and uh, and we all have very different areas of influence a, a, a very a, different areas that are that we consider our like strong suits expertise. yeah so yeah. so the three of us combined make like a deadly you know an awesome uh, realtor I, I, I manage uh, all of the marketing and business identity for our team. Uh, Brian manages um, the agents on our team along with kind of just like the general kind of day-to-day -day functionality of the team. And Tanner manages um, the finance portion of our team, basically money allocation, you know, ROI stuff, you know, marketing, kind of where we're going to put our money in. So together we make a really great team. Yeah. Yeah. So it sounds like each of you play, have critical roles on the team. Right. Um, that really all, all those skills, you know, a lot of people will do dabble in a whole bunch of things, but it's, it's rare to find a team where somebody's passionate about this, somebody's passionate about the finance or managing people or the marketing. You know? Right. Yeah. So awesome, man. So you guys have been a team for how long now? Uh, two years. Two years yep. as a team. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are some of the big drivers of your of your business? Drivers as far as what? Like. So you, you do Zillow? Yeah, so we, so we, 
we do put um, a, a large part of our of our funds, you know, our monthly allocation into Zillow. Um, and the reason that we do that is because we want to obviously provide our agents that work on our team as many potential leads as possible for them to convert into business. Um, that's that's a huge thing for for any agent looking to be on a team. You know, they really want kind of uh, the that lead source coming sure. in. Sure. You know. Yeah, and then you also mentioned uh, before when we were talking about Facebook paid campaigns. Yeah, so we're actually that's our new venture. You know, we're now we're now going to start to branch out our marketing efforts. You know, we we focused a lot on Zillow for quite some time for good reason. I mean, it's it's an amazing source for leads. You know, it, it's it's the largest you know uh, it's the largest website. Search, you know place to, for, for new buyers to go in and search. Sure. Um, you know, everyone goes to Zillow or Trulia, which is now owned by the same company. So um, it's a win-win situation for us on that front. But we now want to kind of, like I said, branch out and start, you know, working with um, maybe potentially Realtor.com, um, for sure Facebook. Uh, we're, we're actually getting our campaigns kind of finalized and we're going to start the Facebook launch here in the next week or two. Cool. So um, also, what was I going to say? So. You guys are big on working your sphere. Okay, this is what I was gonna say. So if you guys are obviously a team looking mm -hmm. to grow, I think right now you guys are at six and you guys are looking to move it to 10. Yeah. Uh, what, what do the agents look like that you're looking to bring onto your team? Are you guys looking for brand new agents right out of, fresh out of school to help them grow their bit, you know, find a place on the team or looking for existing Realtors that maybe are struggling a little bit by themselves and they want, you know, what, what does that person If you like? would have asked us that question six months ago, we would have definitely let, leaned toward the latter. So what we were, or I'm sorry, the, the thing that you just mentioned, we, uh, we were looking to find people that, that maybe had like six to six months to a year of experience under their belt just so they could kind of hit the ground running once they started the team. Um, that, that, that's kind of selfish on our part. You know, I think that we were really focusing on growing the team and other like aspects of the team because we are a newer team, yeah, yeah. essentially, that we didn't really want to focus too much time on maybe like training somebody from the ground up, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. um, but now our, our new goal and focus is actually, we found that, that maybe hiring somebody that's you know, a brand new agent, somebody who has the energy and enthusiasm and who isn't maybe, who hasn't maybe like, um, Created from themselves, like like some some ways of doing business that may not be the right, right way, or you know, may not be the most efficient way. It's harder to break habits that have already formed versus trying to you know versus molding somebody into somebody into an agent who we think can be the best that they can be. Yeah. So yeah. True. So for sure, we're actually looking for people who are our new agents, right? New licensees. And you also mentioned that uh, your sphere of influence is obviously the core of all of your business. Obviously I think that's the you, part you of drive business, leads. Yeah. Um, so what specifically do you guys do to, to work spheres of influence and how do you stay in front of like past clients? Because I think a lot of real estate agents will do a transaction and then they kind of let them not, you know, they don't keep in contact with them. They're not right, which you know, is, checking which is, in on which them. Which is the biggest mistake, right? Because the people that you've already done business with are the easiest people to, to keep in touch with and get return business on. I mean, it's a lot easier to ask business from somebody who used to be your client, a satisfied right, client, right. than try to go out and get new business from somebody who doesn't know you from, you know, right. the person down the street. So, so yeah, so what we do is we, we try to keep in touch with our past clients as much as possible, including our, our sphere, family, friends, business associates, past, you know, past uh, comrades or what, you know, people that you used to work with. Uh, that's, that's always easy, but the fact is, is that it's easier said than done. We, right, right. we really try to, to, to put out a schedule of, of, you know, this week, you know, the first half of this week, let's go ahead and call our family and friends, you know, and then the second half of this week, let's, let's go ahead and try to reach out to the people that we used to work with and, and, you know, past, you know, relationships with, with people we used to work with. And, and we try to really make it scheduled to where at the, in, in one month time, you could actually reach every aspect of your sphere of influence. Sure. Um, and of course, after a transaction is done, most people, like you said, maybe forget about them or you know try not to bother them. But what we like to do is we like to send out letters, you know, a few months um, after it closes, just making sure that everything's good and checking in on them. Um, we like to obviously make calls, special events and occasions, like if it's someone's birthday or anniversary, we do get that information up front. So we like to keep in, in touch with them, in, you know, in that aspect. And I think that that brings a lot of value add to our, our clients who are obviously the most important thing 
to, to any real estate Absolutely. Real estate, real estate business, so. So if somebody's watching this segment right now, maybe they're a real estate agent that's not happy, maybe not finding success, and they may want to consider joining a team or your team or pick your brain about what you guys have to offer mm -hmm. um, as a team, uh, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, they could call me directly. My number is 520-409-4990. Um, uh, you could email me at jason at meridiangroupaz.com. Uh, in fact, you could email any one of our um, one of our people on our team. You know, we have, and it's pretty easy. So there's Brian, Jason, Tanner, Tony, Cody, and Brooke, and we're all at meridiangroupaz.com. Awesome. So. And I know you guys offer a lot of support in, in the form of transaction managers. So there's a lot of value that you guys. We do, offer. yeah. We have Tony. Um, he was on the segment from last week, but yeah, yeah. Tony adds a lot of value in that it frees up so much time. And if you're an agent, you know how much time it takes to to you know, office time as we like to call it, you know, to the transaction part of a, of a transaction. So the the paperwork, the the dealing with you know the, the communication between title and the communication between the lender. Yep. That's that's all time that's taken out of your day, which is great because obviously that's part of an escrow. You know, that's part of a transaction. But we have somebody there that takes a huge load off of the agents, so they can focus on on what they feel is the most important, which is getting new business. Absolutely. Awesome, Jason. Well, thank you for joining me on this segment of Real Estate Pros and taking time out of your busy day. Sure. And we will see you guys on the next episode. Thank you. For more information on hosting your own Facebook live show just like this one, message Lister Pros directly on Facebook, and we will see you guys on the next episode.